Hi friends, this is George Bettinger, and I wanted to tell you a little bit about what it was like when I first started. Cable was almost brand new at the time. It was about 1982, and there were occasional days when we could get color, sound, and picture all at the same time. When I was doing my show, the girl I was dating at the time was directing. So that means she would have to sit in the booth and look at these monitors and decide if it was a close-up or a far shot. One day, I'm on the air live and I look at the monitor and I see she's doing her fingernails in the booth. So I'm in this stagnant shot for a long time. Finally, I yell, close-up! My mom had a great feeling for show business and we'd love to have her on the show. One day, she was working the cue cards, and we were in the middle of a bit. I was working with Steve, my partner at that time, and she stopped moving the cue cards. Let me, let me ask you something, uh, uh, Chief. Uh, this is Chief Smokey, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. What brings you down to the studio today? The fire engine, you dope. My studio manager was Don. He had a little boy at the time who used to occasionally appear in the scenes without me knowing it. There's one scene where he's rolling around on the floor trying to look for a ball. I just went on and did my thing. Hey, thinks that she's a telephone. Why don't you take it to the psychiatrist? I can't do that. I'm expecting a long distance call. <laughs> he's a grown man now with children of his own. <laughs> I had one guy on our staff who was part of the cast. Every time he sneezed, his toupee would fall off. In any case, I wanted to give you a little insight into what things were like before cell phones, before beepers, when cable was just up and coming. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Yay! <laughs> we got it.